Thank you very much for having me tonight at the Shorty Awards, the, the waiting at the DMV of award shows. On April 15, 2018, the 10th Annual Shorty Awards took place in New York City, honoring the best of social media. Now, all your favorites were there, including Demi Lay, Jesse Krishbaum, Betty Who, and Christine Sidelko. Damn it. As an entertainment news host, I'm really falling behind the eight ball here. I don't know who any of the hell these people are. Pretty girl with a twisted mind and you love it. You told me all that time, so don't apologize. Now you're all probably wondering the same thing. The answer is no. I was not in attendance at the Shorty Awards. But you know, they probably assumed that I was going to be really, really busy over the weekend. I wasn't even invited. But thank you, Shorty Awards, for making the right assumption. I was pretty busy. Um, also, Toronto got snowed in. It was ridiculous. So my flight probably would have been grounded. And they probably anticipated this would all happen. So, you know. Again, thank you so much. No hard feelings. I was, however, free enough to watch it at home, and uh, well, a lot went on. So we're gonna talk about those in attendance, the nominees and the winners, here for you on After the Shorty Awards 2018. A lot of these stars, their work is out of my wheelhouse, but it goes to show you how massive this industry has become, and it gives us plenty of suggestions for future videos on this channel. Also, the link to the entire stream of the award show, I'll leave down below. Okay, let's start off with YouTuber of the Year. Nominated in this category was Andrea Russett, who I know from Twitter. She put together this YouTuber bracket, which I thought was really cool. It picked up some serious traction, like Keemstar versus Philip DeFranco, and so on and so forth. It was cool. Also nominated Cody Ko, Coyote Pedersen, David Dobrik, now I know him. I have yet to make a video on that guy, but apparently he's all the rage. Eva Godowski, uh, okay. There was I Didn't Hit Her, Gabby Hanna, and then Jack Douglas. Now I actually had to go Google who Jack Douglas was, but then it turns out it's Jack Films. Or Jack's film, one of those. Now this man has had an incredible year. He blew past four million subs and he's getting married. Congrats to him. Also nominated was Juan Pablo Zorita and his ex-girlfriend Lele Pons. And we've covered both of them on my Spanish channel, as with Yuya, who was also nominated. And finally, there was Sophia Nagard, and the award went to your boy, Jack Films. Honestly, well deserved. Thank you so much. Yeah, just go hoop and holler, everyone. All right, three, two, one. All right, viral. With this award show, one of the biggest categories of all, the one I look forward to the most, is the creator of the decade, and who's gonna win this year? Because the best thing about a decade, well, it only happens once a year. And the competition, it was stiff. We had Jenna Marbles, Rhett and Link, Liza Koshy, and she's, uh, well, wait, how long has she been doing this? I don't think it's even been a decade, whatever. Also in this category, we have Lily Singh, Casey Neistat, but the winner was Marquise Brown Lee. This guy's a tech genius, he's got 10 million subs. Again, well deserved. The Breakout Creator Award of the Year went to Elle Mills. Now she came out of nowhere. At the beginning of 2017, she had like 17,000 subs. And since then, she's accumulated well over a million. It's fantastic to see people growing so fast. It feels like it doesn't happen that often anymore. Plus she's Canadian, so good for her. The Livestream Award, it went to this guy. You might recognize him. Thanks to all the PTPers and Diaper Dandies, baby! This is awesome! Dipsy Doo Dunkaroo! Scott Rogowski. Now we're actually planning on doing his Before They Were Famous, so look forward to that. Muser of the Year was Annie LeBlanc. Now she didn't make it to the event, likely because she's only 13 years old. Vlogger of the Year went to Will Dasevich. Now this guy became inspired by Casey Neistat while he was in college. He then picked up a camera, started vlogging, and today he's sitting on over 1 million subscribers. All right, next up we have a kid I know very well. I mean, I've even interviewed him. I'm talking about my boy Russell, AKA the Backpack Kid. Wow, this is just amazing. I did not know when I created that dance and that it would go worldwide like it did. Thank you all for making the dance as big as it was and I cannot be any more happy. Russell picked up the win for best dance, rightfully so. The Twitch streamer of the year is Pokemon, Pokemane? I'm not too sure. For food, we have Rosanna Pancino. Best YouTube comedian is Dang Matt Smith. In the weird category, there was Poppy, she took home a W, but she didn't make it to the award show. 
Now the best in gaming went to Dashy Games. Now he wasn't able to attend the event, but he did share his appreciation. Y'all always show me so much love and support. I just, I can't thank y'all enough for that. You know, y'all always put up with my loud ass. Oh wait, I don't know if I can say ass. I just said the twice. I'm really happy for Dashy, especially it's amazing to see how far he's come, because once upon a time, he worked at Subway. <laughs> That's a joke, actually. Now, the best web series that went to Hot Ones, they beat out the likes of Escape the Night and Rhett and Link's Buddy System. The best podcast is Views, and that's hosted by David Dobrik and Josh Nash. Holy cow. This is crazy. Uh, thank you so much. You know, we started this podcast uh, because I was broke, and I asked David, could we do a podcast to make a little bit of money? And uh, we won, so that's amazing. Uh, thank you to our manager, Jack Reed for taking 15% and our agents for taking 10%. Yep. And then Cadence 13. Thank you guys, thank you so much. Thank you. Now there are a bunch of other categories for this award show. It ran like two and a half hours. There's ones that I'm not sure are necessary, like music, celebrity sports. I mean, the winners of these, they were A-listers. I'm talking Cardi B for music, Rihanna for celebrity, and Serena Williams for uh, sports. I feel like they should stick to the online pool of talent they're working with, because none of those stars showed up. They're probably gonna be like having this award on their, and be like, I don't even know what this is. Now we did have one star transition onto social media, and that is the Snapchatter of the year, Spencer Pratt. An exciting, momentous event. Shout out to everyone that won an award, that knows what it takes to film yourself every day and not feel insane. They even gave out awards to things like the best emoji, which the unicorn won. There was the best gift for the blinking white man. The best meme, which went to the distracted boyfriend. And the best Instagram post was a photo of the solar eclipse. Sounds fitting. Now, there was a lot going on at this award show. Even a pop singer by the name of Betty Who, well, she gave a phenomenal performance. Look at you now, make me proud. I'm your slave tonight. Now it looked like a super fun night, a good mix of celebrities. There was a lot of the names you would expect, but a lot of new faces. And the people that won, well, they were voted by the voters, which is you guys. So I think you guys did a great job. Now I hope to show up in the future. By the time I get the invite, I might be sounding like this guy. I struggled as an actor for like <laughs> a long time. All right, guys, we'll see you in another video. I also wanted to let you know that I might be a little behind on daily uploads. Over the next seven days, I got a few other projects I got to work on. Also, I got a short trip to Texas, but uh, I'll try my best. My name is Michael McCrud, and you already know that. Here's two more videos. See you guys in the next one. Boom! I think a career highlight will be when I'm done. <laughs>